The 450 coffee shops in Amsterdam are not known for their coffee, but check out the menu in any of them and choose Afghan Sheriff, Moroccan Premier, or the popular homegrown skunk. Marijuana in the Netherlands. It'll get you high, but not likely to get you busted. We rather have them to use the good drugs so that they don't get ill and so that is terrible toxification processes that you can have when you have uh, uh, dirty stuff. This kind of Dutch tolerance infuriates neighboring countries. France and Germany accuse Holland of sponsoring drug tourism and blame the Netherlands for some of their drug problems. This led to the Dutch government being pressured into making tough new drug laws. But how tough are they? Well, there is no fear of prosecution for possession of up to 30 grams of marijuana. The amount of grass that coffee shops can sell has been reduced to 5 grams from 30, and some coffee shops will be closed. Alan Lieberman is not worried. The Montreal native has been running Lucky Mother's Coffee Shop for four years. They're not too tough on the 30 grams. I can't see them being more tough on the 5 grams. It's more for showing the rest of the countries that they mean business. But the other countries might not be convinced that Holland really does mean business. Just 10 minutes from City Hall, a festival celebrating the use of marijuana. The five-day event included an exposition of hemp plant products and related paraphernalia. Exhibitors like Eagle Bill demonstrated his pot vaporizing device and gave away free samples. Please, I'm going to show you what it does and what a healthy alternative can do. I'm heating it. Keep it in. Hold it in. Let it out gently. And how does it taste? Canada was well represented at the Cannabis Cup. I'm here, Canadians for Cannabis. Dana Larson is the editor of Vancouver's Cannabis Canada magazine. He's one of the judges who will vote for the best marijuana of 1995. I go for effects mostly. You know what it, what it does to you is the only way to really judge. Darren Morgan brought his homegrown stuff from Vancouver and was third runner-up for the Cannabis Cup. It's good stinky bud. We grow it just as good over there as over here, man. In the last three years, the explosion in popularity of marijuana grown and consumed in the Netherlands has greatly reduced the amount of cannabis that organized crime has smuggled in from Latin America and North Africa. While this is of some benefit to Holland, the open borders of the European Union has neighboring countries worried that the Netherlands is becoming the new production and export center for soft drugs. Neil Lundy, Global News, Amsterdam.